Hello there and you're all very welcome back here to my wee kitchen. First up, I should apologise for the length of time between this video and my last video. Good news is I got a job, so since February I have been working here in Ireland. But I'm sorry about that. I found it quite hard to fit in the time to do some videos, but here we go. Let's hope I can manage a few more. In today's video, I'm going to be making sausages. On to that, I should mention my rather fetching apron. It's from the merchandise range of three very funny uh, Irish comedians called Foil, Arms and Hog, which we found at the Edinburgh Fringe many, many years ago now and have been following them ever since. I think they're fantastic. You should check them out on YouTube and the tour around Ireland, Europe and now the world with their comedy shows. Let's get back to the cooking. So today, as I mentioned, we're going to make pork sausages. I have my Irish pork loin chops here from the supermarket. There's only two other ingredients, a seasoning mix, which includes rusk and cold water. First thing I've done is I've weighed the pork to get the weight of pork. Then going by the instructions on the seasoning mix, which I buy online from the UK from a butcher supplier on eBay. It's about an eighth of this mix, which is the seasoning and the ruscaline, the rusk. And the first thing I'm going to do then is measure out the water. It's ice cold water out of the fridge. That goes in to the seasoning rusk mix. Because it's amazing how much water the bread crumbs will soak up. And while we're doing all the rest of the mincing and preparation, this can go to one side. You'll see that I'm using my trusty Kenwood K-Mix, and this comes with a mincer attachment, which I haven't used for some time, so bear with me while I put it together. Super! going through the mincer first time on the largest gauge to give us a nice thick chunky uh, mince. You will notice that I've used quite fatty cuts of pork and um, that's because I think you'll find that the fat is the flavour a lot of the time and keeps your sausages nice and juicy. Okay so now to our mince we're going to add our rusk mixture with seasoning. I've changed over the plate on the, the mincer to give us a smaller mince, slightly more pureed. I've not gone to the smallest size, I don't like. I know the Irish recipe sausages are normally quite like a puree. Do now, so we'll get ready to pass this through. Minced pork sausage meat. 
Now I'm pretty sure you all know I love my Kenwood K-Mix um, and I should say that this attachment comes with a sausage stuffer attachment as well. It could force the, the meat on into the casing. Um, I tried it a couple of times, wasn't very impressed, so I have another gadget to show you instead. Say hello to the sausage stuffer. Here we go. You are right, this is just a massive syringe that you would fill with meat. From a supplier I bought 28ml collagen casings for the skins and I just slide them on here. There we go. Attach this to the front. Make sure it's all nice and tight. That's fine. Now you'll notice a small cone at the front. First couple of times I used this, I realised that it wasn't going to get all the meat because this is flat, it wasn't going to push all the meat through. So I made a silicon mould and I put that in like a normal syringe. It pushes everything through. So let's just start loading the meat. You don't want any air bubbles. Now, as I say, you don't want any air pocket. So I'm going to try and push the meat in best I can with my hand. Okay, I'll put in the plug. Screw on the end. As by the pet apron, I'm going to clean as I go. I'm also going to try and make sure that this little sucker is a bit damp because I don't want this sucker going everywhere. Now I'm going to position it here on the edge of the counter so that you can see what I'm doing. So if I start to turn, here we go. Now as I turn, the meat's starting to get forced down. They've kindly put a knot in the tube of the casing, I see. That's very good of them. Here we go. So now with one hand, with my left hand, I'm going to try and guide it the best I can. I'm not an expert on this. You need a bit of practice. Basically, I'm going to just make one huge load sausage. Ooh. Man, that's tight. Okay. Okay, there we go. I can I can see the the blue plug in there now and it's not going to wind any further. So we'll just ease off a little bit more. Look. So there you go, there's a, one huge sausage. I'm going to have a go now in a minute and make them into actual individual sausages. Um, you might think, why are you going to all this effort, Sean? But, um, you know, Sausages, we always worry sometimes, I think, what's in sausages. So if you want to make your own sausages, that you know exactly what's in them, why not have a go at this? So, let's see, you just pinch them. Give it a twirl. Keep them on about the same size. It's not that easy. Now I'm sure these are going to be beautiful, but you see there's a wee bit of mix left there just coming out. I'm going to pop the frying pan on 
and just cook that off just as a wee sample to myself. There's my very badly tied pile of homemade pork sausages. So I hope you like that video, I hope you like the recipe, I hope you have a go at it at home and as I say please subscribe, comment below, let me know how you go on, have you got any questions, queries or any other uh, recipes you'd like to see me try. Um, and until next time, cheerio.